girl, is I is or is I ain't shady? That is the question. So, happy quarantine Monday to all of y'all girls. So, listen, I know this is way out of the Giving You the Real Tea channel league, but I've been tagged in this little um, YouTube content creator gag. Girl, I don't know who started this bullshit, but whoever started to tell them I said to go and kill yourself because this is very messy. But I live for the messiness, baby. Um, before I do this, like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Be sure to hit that bell, become the notification gang gang. And if you rocks with my channel the way y'all say y'all do, please make sure to watch those ads. I just got to say that because y'all know this is what we just do here. You know, I, I got to brand myself, so I got to say that. So I don't know who made up this content creator um, tag videos, but... There is a list of 10 questions and you have to answer them completely honest and earnestly. You have to answer all of these good here questions and you have to tag certain people in it and whoever you tag, they got to do it and they have to tag other people in the mess. So let's see, who am I going to tag? Um, I am going to tag... Uh, I'm going to tag Darlinda Tracy TV. Um, he's been tagged already. He's been tagged already. I am going to tag, if she should see this, I am going to tag Jazzy J. Um, and I am also going to talk. He already did it. He already did it. I'm going to tag my bestie, Nietzsche Franklin, since she got a YouTube channel. So those three peoples I'm finna tag. I'm going to tag Darlinda Tracy TV, Jazzy J, and Nietzsche Franklin. So anybody that follows them, girl, make sure you put the word out that I'm tagging their asses. And I'm also going to put it down here, down to the description box, and let it be known that I'm tagging their asses. Now, question number one. Do you consider yourself to be shady? Be honest. Girl, yes. Hell yeah. But it's a difference with my shadiness. If I rocks with you and I bang with you, I throw little light light. You understand what I'm saying? I throw little light light, little fun shade. And we am, if anybody rocks with me on that personal level, they throw it back. Now, if I don't like you, I'm going to throw direct shade. If I can't stand your ass, I'm going to throw indirect shade because I'm going to do because see, I do what Premier explained that he did on his first season of Chase of Dallas. See, the type of shade I throw when I can't stand you, you're not going to catch until you get home later that night. And the minute you step your foot in the front door, then it becomes that bitch tried it. Yeah, bitch. I know I did. Next time you got to be quicker than that, sis. Anywho, question number two. Do you screen your calls or do you just pick up? Oh, no, ma'am. I screen my calls. I screen my calls. Scam lightly, girl. Go scam somebody else. I ain't finna answer you. Bill collectors, I'm not finna answer you. Bitch, you'll get the money when I get the money. And, you know, and I gotta be honest. There are some times when my besties call me and I be in the middle of doing something. I could answer, but I be too indwelled in what I got going on to answer. Um, I do it to some of my family members. Um, so, and, and it is really no shade, but you know, sometimes I feel like talking. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. Um, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you like spending time alone? A thousand. All right. I'm going to be honest. A thousand. Like I love being around other people. I'm not a huge people person, but I'm a people person to an extent, but I like my space. I like my privacy. Um, and I feel like that's anybody like, you know, there are some days where you don't want to be bothered with people. You just want to be by yourself. And I'm one of those people. Um, 
how do you handle pop-up visits to your home? I don't, because unless you both of my best friends, your ass ain't get, I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. I hate pop-ups. I hate pop-ups because you don't know what I got going on, girl. I could be over here doing a little one-two, buckle my shoe, three-four at the door. You understand? Like, and I don't want you popping up on me and seeing something that you ain't got no business seeing. So don't pop up on me. Call me and let me know you coming ahead of time and then I can either accept you or dish your ass. Question number five. How many extreme pet peeves would you say that you possess? I'm going to say about a strong 10. I'm going to say about a strong 10. What is your number one pet peeve and why? Uh... My number one pet peeve is a liar. And let me explain. A little white lie, I'll let you slide with. But if you blatantly just telling a big bald faced lie in my face, we then have a problem. I can no longer trust you. I don't want you nowhere in my space. One thing about me, I'm always keep it honest with you. 1,010%, whether you like it or not. Now, a little white lie is one thing, but when it comes to like have to be brutally honest, baby, that's me. And because I'm brutally honest, I expect for anybody that say they rock with me to be brutally honest with me. It works both ways. And if you can't do that, sayonara. What is the worst gift that you've ever received? Um, to be real, the worst gift that I ever received was um, 3LW's second album, A Girl Can Mac. That was the absolute worst gift that one of my homegirls from back in the day gave me. Girl, I had it. I took it home. I listened to it. I got the song number five. I took it out. I put it back in. And I, the next day... Um, I was at school and I tried to pawn it off to anybody that I could pawn it off to. And I was able to find this one homie chick that was a huge 3LW fan that couldn't find the CD. Why she couldn't find it, I don't know, because it was straight garbage. But I said, well, girl, don't need to worry about it. You can have it on me. Free of charge. How often do you find yourself in tears? I don't. The last time I have cried was... um. November 12, 2018, up until November, I want to say 20th, 2018, and that was the week that my mom passed. That was the last time I was all up in my feelings, wearing black veils over my face because of all the puffiness about all around about my ass, girl, because I was all to pieces all that week. Um, the day of the funeral, I couldn't grieve the way I wanted to because I had to be there for my nieces and my nephew. But that Monday, baby, it all hit me like a ton of bricks. And girl, I cried so hard. I had a headache and I had to go to sleep. But afterwards, I felt so much better. So that was the last time I cried. How long did your worst relationship last? My worst, absolute worst relationship lasted all of four months. Who ended the relationship and, and did you remain friends with them? I ended the relationship and no, I absolutely hate their guts. And if they was to spontaneously human combust in front of me and we're walking down the street, I wouldn't even jack my dick to put pre-cum on them to get it out. Okay. And this relationship was back in, I was a freshman in college so that was the 2006 2007 school year yeah it was around that time actually i just finished my freshman year so that was the summer going into my sophomore year so yeah that was in 2007 that was my absolute work and i still feel the same way about that punk ass boy now um so yeah there you go that's my tag response to how shady am I. 
Um, I don't know who came up with this. I have no idea who came up with this. I was honestly just joking with Nikki Kelly, some type of thing. I was honestly joking with that. Don't nobody take none of that to heart. Um, shout out to the content creator that did come up with that. It's a really messy game, but it's a fun game, and I kind of rock with it. And again, I am tagging Darlinda Tracy TV. Jazzy J, she's a makeup artist. Definitely shout out to her. And I'm also tagging my bestie, Mitra Franklin. Speaking of Mitra Franklin, anybody that loves music, loves hip hop and all that good stuff, a feel good music, trap music, real, trap, shit. Definitely go and hit up my best friend, Mitra Franklin. I will be putting her name in here as well as her YouTube channel. Definitely, definitely, definitely. If you support me, please go and support my best friend. Support Jazzy J. She does excellent makeup tutorials, hair tutorials, things of that nature. And definitely head up my big sis, Darlinda Tracy TV. She gives excellent um, show reviews for all of the shows that you all love to watch and the shows that I absolutely love to hate to not watch. So definitely hit all three of them up. Tell them I sent you and they gonna treat you right. That's all I got. I ain't got no more to gig it. And until next time, I'm gonna holler at you later, girl. Bye. I just woke up and I rolled up. I just woke up and I rolled up. And I got my plane ticket. That could that be my starter kit. I just woke up and I rolled up.